Hi there, I'm Missy Brozek. I'm a designer for Tonic Studios, and I'm at the Scrapbook Superstore today to show you our new uh, collection of Accent and Edger punches. Uh, we call this our pick and punch system. And with the system, we have five different Edger punches that will create a decorative border on a project, and then we have seven different accent punches that you can mix and match um, that will sit inside of the Edger punches. So I'm just going to grab one here to show you how this works. Uh, they all fit perfectly into the border system, so no new systems to purchase. And then you can just, um, this is a good time to start using the guides on your uh, base of your of your border system if you don't already. Uh, these all measure perfectly with the border systems there. Um, measure perfectly, one and three eighths of an inch uh, will give you a perfect um, aligned border. So you can just make your first punch really anywhere you like close to the edge or so that it cuts the edge off. And then you will always line up the very outer edge, so this piece um, with the center of your guide. And you'll just keep moving that along, lining up the center of those two punches each time. And you can see then as you continue along, you'll end up with a, a really great border. Okay, so then you can choose from any of these accent punches to um, go back over and drop into your border. So let's just grab the flower here. And you'll start your first punch um, in the exact same spot that you started your first punch with the board, with the edger punch. And then you will always realign the center of your guide with the edger guide just the same as you did before so try not to pay any attention to this accent punch that you're you're making as you go and just keep centering this in between the edger and there you'll see you get this great border and we can hop up here and I'll show you what that looks like on the project so for this one um, again, I did use the flower, I used a different edger here, but for the, the top part of it, I put a little bit of a red cardstock behind it and left the bottom open to just show the background cardstock. For this one, I used the scallop border, but I didn't use an accent in it, so you can see how nice they are just to use on their own. And then again here, I used only the edger punch, but I did two of them and I stacked them on top of each other to just add a little bit of dimension to the project, which is also the technique that I use on these cards that I created. So you can see this first one, each of these has two little layers of, of gray cardstock, and then they just kind of flow into one another when they're stacked on top of each other. Same here with the, the other scallop punch. And then for this one, I used the butterflies within the scallop, and I positioned it uh, with this little strip of yellow behind so that when it's closed, the top row of butterflies is yellow and the bottom row is pink. So you can see with the, the collection of edgers and accents, we have a, a little diagram that you can get from the website that shows you what all of the edgers are and then all of the accents and it gives you this great little diagram of what they look like within each of the different edger punches. So this will show you all of the punch border varieties you can get with this small collection of punches or as you can see they're all great to use just individually too.